the castle in Kurnitz. So here in Kurnitz it says Schloss, it means a castle. It says the Deutsch Ordens Kommende. The Deutsch Orden, these are the Teutonic Knights. And exactly in this time, afterwards, they came and, and uh, they, they did a, when they came back from the Crusades, they did a, um, a crusade against Poland. And then they invited all the Germans to come and live in Poland. And they uh, founded uh, Silesia, Schlesien, where Auschwitz, where they founded Auschwitz. So it's all connected to Switzerland, you know, again here. It says 1226, Switzerland was founded in 1291. So it says that the castle was given to the Deutschen Orden, the Teuton Teutonic Knights. And here's some more about the Ordens Ritten, the Teutonic Knights, Deutschen Orden. They're very much uh, connected to the Templars, the uh, uh, the Deutsch, Deutsch Orden, there it is, Deutsch Orden. That's 1528. But they came first, like, you know, just before the founding of Switzerland. And in this time, they, um, they built all the, um, the castles in Poland, um, like in Marburg. And this is the Knights Rittersaal. Yeah, so this is the complex here, and that's the uh, the castle. Yeah, I already filmed it once, but I, I didn't focus on the uh, the Teutonic Knights. So here, in fact, they gave it back. The Teutonic Knights, they didn't need it anymore in 1554. They gave it back. You know, they already had Silesia, and they found it. You know. The, um, the castles of the Teutonic Knights and here too there's um, the, the Teutonic Knights here Retta Bruder the, uh, the Knights Brothers well, you know Templar stuff eh? so yeah that's here in Bern Kurnitz and uh, yeah yeah look at So, that's the castle here, Kurnitz, with the Swiss cross on it, and uh, there's the, uh, the water source. Burn. And that's part of it as well. They have a different way of building castles here. In Kurnitz, Bern in Switzerland, where also Kim Jong-un, the Swiss North Korean dictator lived, there's the Church of the Black Cross being part of the Kurnitz Castle. And the Church of the Black Cross is a Protestant reformed church. And some of you probably already know what a Black Cross means. And what kind of people depict black crosses and whom or what they follow? This picture here is from Wikipedia, Kurnitz Castle. And the name here, Commandery Church, that means it's by the Templars. It's from the French word La Commanderie des Templiers. So all uh, castles and churches of the Templars are called commanderies. So this is how we know it's Templar stuff, who founded Switzerland anyway. But this is a, a sub-contingent, actually, of the Templars, called the Teutonic Knights. And yes, first they let me in, in that church, yeah? Nobody telling me that I couldn't, but then shortly after I went in, the whole apparent atmosphere changed. And they started pushing me around, laying their hands on me, and getting offens offensively physical, which you will see in the footage. 
It seems that something is awakening here in Octagon, Switzerland, and it's like they pick up on me, like I'm being tagged. Every time getting attacked during the rare mo instance I'm able to go outside, when I have someone who accompanies me. And this never happens abroad, you see. Never in France and never anywhere else, only in Switzerland. It's like my sheer appearance sets something nasty free in them as apparently the Swiss invisible world of their Templars and Baphomet occult react on the for them detectable energies around someone. And me, I strongly believe in universal justice and worldly peace for humanity. And the Swiss absolutely react violent and, uh, and hateful to it. Hey, you can see the, uh, the Swiss cross here on, on the devil here. And the, and the red crosses here on the guys here. So this is this is the Swiss belief, and I don't know how they do it, you know. But but, but it happens. I don't know how it works, but it does. And Swissy and their evil inhibitions does have some sort of an ability towards this direction. It's quite chilling to feel these evil Swiss energies piercing into one's back really, which all happens in the realm of the invisible world over which I have no power and I have no clue either how it works, but you'll see it in the footage of the Black Cross Church in here in Bern, Switzerland and, and what happened. Just wait and see. But I suppose the sixth sense is a reality and sometimes the only bell ringing to protect us from worse. And I was most certainly glad to get out of that hellhole of the Black Cross Church, where their club members reacted so collectively, without even, even talking to each other, probably communicating in ways beyond my knowledge. And in a similar way to those World War II hardcore Nazis did, and who were of course all Swiss, as I've proven in my video, Auschwitz made in Switzerland. Just watch those hateful, nasty Swiss faces and those of the priests, priests of the Black Cross, who are most certainly no followers of Christ, but are rather connected to another alliance. They show no mercy and for sure none of Christ's love around. Well, look at the footage yourself here in the Swiss Church of the Black Cross. There we go. Sit tight. So oh, this is inside the church of the Teutonic Knights. Let's see what it says. I think it's a funeral or something. I can't read it now, I'll read it later. Maybe I was lucky. Oh, that's Teutonic Knights. Deutsch, let's are on. Quite a special neighborhood here, sort of snobbish. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Please go out, we have now a celebration. Yeah, I'm, I'm finished in a moment. Ich würde bitte aufhören mit Fotografieren. 
English, I don't speak German. Well, we have a yeah. funeral here. Yeah, I'm finished and, uh, in a moment. Huh? What do you say? Don't touch what me. You Get your hands Go off out. me. Go out. Get your filthy Nazi hands off me. Don't touch me, okay? Yes. But Just don't you, touch me. Please go out. Yes? We have a few I'll drop a here. Don't touch me. I'll drop a complaint. Please go out. Excuse me? Please go out. Don't give me any orders, will you? What? The damn Swiss Nazis. Yes. Yeah, look at all the Nazis. What are you calling? You're calling something? No. Huh? Please, please. Huh? You're a please bunch of Swiss Nazis. Don't touch I, me. I make a phone. Don't touch me. Go out now. You what? Go out. You, you call who? Call it You call the police? Yes. Why? I do it. Yeah, why? Tell me why. You, huh? you disturb a funeral? No, you, I was silent. I didn't say no. anything. You disturbed me. Don't you touch me. Go, yeah, go Don't out. Don't touch me. Go out. You damn Swiss Nazis. Don't. Yeah, get violent. Just go on, hit me. Go on. So I better get away soon. So this is the Teutonic Knights. These are the descendants, you just saw them, a bunch of Swiss Nazis, getting violent, touching me, pushing me. But this is the Teutonic Knights. It's a branch of the, of the Templars, and they took the entire Baltic. So St. Leningrad, so it's, um, St. Petersburg is just next to it. And that's where Putin is from, so that's what he is. And look at his long nose, it's aristocratic. So after the Crusades, they got organized here, and um, then they did another crusade to the Baltics and to Russia. And it was the Prince Alexander Nevsky who saved Russia. And Putin, he belongs to this. He's an enemy of the Russian people. He's just telling the Russians what they want to hear, just like Hitler did. And so they will obey him. So. He's their hero, like Hitler, and they die for him, you know. So you see how aggressive they get, you know. Look at this. Well, this is Switzerland, folks. They always call the police for nothing. So there's Kunitz. There's a lot of politicians here, rich people. And these Teutonic Knights, they took over the entire uh, region, of course. It all belongs to the Teutonic Knights here. The whole thing here. Swiss servants, Satan's seed. Oh, real charming people, aren't they now? Who get offensive and physical before they talk. The Swiss are only friendly when they smell a good business, like in the banking or tourist industry, when it concerns a lot of money. Otherwise, if you're an immigrant, you have to take orders of them. And just anyone, all the time, of just any Swiss, and just anywhere, even in the Temple of Christ. And you all saw that I followed their aggressive orders as I was out in less than two minutes after having received Swissies order. And I would have been out much faster if this Swissies wouldn't have made such a fuzz about nothing. And I really have to say this because the Swiss Nazi police carefully scrutinizes every video I make to see if they can nail me somewhere or somehow. But they don't intervene if some Swissy hits me, gets physical, offensive and pushes me around, being just some immigrant to them. Ah, that's okay for Swissy. 
I really have to say this, you know, because uh, in this country, in this fascist Nazi country, uh, you have to anticipate the consequences of every step you take. So, you fascist Swiss authorities, you saw I was in there for only three minutes. I obeyed orders of you Swiss and went out. And they let me in themselves. So what are you going to do next, eh? You Swiss Nazi cops, sue me again for being pushed around, me? I just wanted to film the church and the images on the windows, that's all. I didn't want to talk to anyone and just silently do my sightseeing tour and videotape the Black Cross of the Black Cross Church, that's all. And for three main reasons, I'm in fact allowed to film and publish those evil Swiss here. One, because I publish at YouTube, California, under the US laws and First Amendment of America. So out of the fascist reach of Swiss jurisdiction. Two, by law, one may film and publish any public person of the so-called three P's, politicians, police, and priests. 3. When you feel a crime being committed or any other act against the law, as here Swissy getting physically offensive, and it was only because of me staying cool and allowing their physical abuse that the whole situation didn't escalate into something bigger. But Swissy doesn't mind any law and only tries to get immigrants into their prisons, where immigrants even end up in prison when Swissy hits them. As it happened to me with that corrupt cop. Or when Swissy gets physically offensive. Well, just wait. You'll see what'll, what'll come next. Some more charges from the Swiss, the fascist Swiss state's attorney. And Swiss Nazi police coming round to hold me up. The whole country of Octogon is upside down, where criminals get a medal and the innocent goes to prison. And anyway, I was already filming that church when those horrible Swiss forced themselves on camera, while my camera was already running. It would never have happened otherwise as I was just quietly and discreetly filming the church, just minding my own business. Just look at their faces, the hatred, the gestures, the violent attitude. Oh, this is what Octogon Switzerland is really like and how Swissy really is. So these were Swiss Protestants of the Black Cross Church. As you could see that lady priest because Catholics have no female priests. And when I saw her standing in front of me with that microphone attached, I thought of Madonna or Whitney Houston going to do some satanic maleficent act or showing the horned hand and all the Isis symbology. Well, I suppose they kept that for later on, eh? And man, how that male priest with that wretched mouth lied and twisted reality. I mean, I went in there, was silent and respectful, and then it was them getting offensive for just two minutes sightseeing. Well, Swissy certainly has some uncontrollable inhibitions. Lots of work here for Bob Larson, the exorcist. So here it says, you know, that uh, the Church of the Black Cross is a Protestant Reformed Church. And so why else the Black Cross, apart from the Satanic Covenant? The Templars were founded in the year 1119, who spoke French originally, as was French the language of Europe's nobility. But as there were more and more German-speaking crusaders, as the many Alemannic Swiss Germans, a linguistic solution had to be found to consolidate the German identity. So therefore, a new branch of the Templars was founded, as in one of their names. 
the Black Knights of the German House. Now, what has a house to do with it? Well, that's from the Pharaonic Per A, uh, similar to the uh, White House or, uh, or, or Big House, uh, indicating the aristocracy's involvement in it. So, and here we can see they everybody was there until not in 1291 in Jerusalem and you know in the Middle East and 12 just like the Templars 12 they they went away and 1291 was the year uh, Switzerland was founded after the last um, stronghold of the Templars Ekon on May 18th 1291 so Switzerland was founded on August the 1st 1291 and then not only the Templars left, but also the Teutonic Knights. Like in the Church of the Black Cross. So here is the order of the Teutonic Knights who came out of the Templar. And I was at that Black Cross Church where there's also a, uh, a castle of the Teutonic Knights with the same... Uh, black cross and here it says what I just told you before about the Per A or the German house here it says Orden der Brüder vom Deutschen Haus der Heiligen Maria in Jerusalem it says Deutschen Haus the German house the Per A so with this we know it's Pharaonic it's not a house to live in and to do your cooking and go to the toilet this is a house as a, um, a, a bloodline, a royal house of the pharaohs. So just as the Templars, uh, uh, the Teutonic Knights, they were of pharaonic aristocratic descent. Just watch my film, uh, Pharisocracy, in which you'll find more about the, um, the aristocracy. So, and so, 70 years later, after the founding uh, of the Knights Templars in 1119, a new order for the Germanic identity was founded in 1190. The Teutonic Knights of the Black Cross, also called Deutsch Ritter Orden in German, who were just as hatefully evil as their descendants of the Church of the Black Cross who you've just seen in action, revealing their true faces, not very in accordance with the teachings of Christ, but more into a covenant with the Black Cross and their Teutonic Knights ancestors. Who were, in fact, a bunch of evil Swiss butchers and mass murderers who roamed over Europe and the Middle East in that Swiss octagon tradition of murder, pillaging, and slaughtering innocent people. First for 200 years in the Middle East and Jerusalem, then again for 200 years in the Baltic and another crusade against the Slavic peoples of as Poles and Russians from 1193 to 1410, the Battle of Grunwald. These were called the Northern Crusades and here you can see the, uh, the coat of arms of the Teutonic Order, the Teutonic Knights, whose descendants you just saw in action before, and who, f with the Templars, founded Switzerland. Well, these are Templars. It's all the same thing, you know. With the initial Templars later on almost totally merging into the new order of the Teutonic Knights. Templars not really ended on Friday the 13th of October in 1307 and their founding of their new base Octagon Switzerland in 1291 because of the dispute with the old world order the French king Philippe le Bel of the old aristocracy and with the Pope leading to the persecution of the Templars all over Europe except for the Swiss Alps. And here again, just like in the other picture, you can see them standing together, which is not a coincidence, you know. And uh, just watch the uh, the Isis horns, like Madonna and, uh, you know, uh, Maleficent and 
also related to the pharaoh's uh, Apis bull. Therefore, later on in history, all evil seems to come out of Germany and the Germanic world. Two world wars, the Thirty Year War, and endless wars between France and Germany. The Old World Order and the King of France versus the New World Order or various French kings against the Knights' Orders, the Knights' Templars and the Teutonic Knights, all because of this problem between Philip Le Bel and the Templars. And it went on for hundreds of years, and if not thousands of years. These Swiss Black Knights finally settled down in the Baltic state which is now Latvia, Estonia and Lithuania. So it, it says, this is on Wikipedia, it lasted for 300 years and it still does. Only now they're underground, you know, in secret. It already was a secret orders, order. But now they're just integrated everywhere. So here you see where it is. Here's Switzerland. Here were the descendant in the black, in the black protest, uh, the uh, the Church of the Black Cross, and here this is very interesting. Here is uh, where the, the water is going in. Here is uh, what used to call be called Leningrad, and which is now Saint Petersburg, where Mr. Putin is from. Uh, maybe you see where I'm, where I'm getting at, right near to the influence region of the Teutonic Knights from Switzerland. I come back to that later, just keep it in mind. And without this you cannot understand the Second World War. And um, so, you know, in the Second World War they, they just finished what they wanted to do, like um, in the Middle Ages to the Russians and what they couldn't really do at that time. So they finished it off many hundreds of years later. And, uh, yeah. So here it said, the state of the Teutonic Order from 1260 to 1410. And it went on longer. So here it says Prussia. Yeah. So maybe understand who the Prussians are. I'll come back to that later, don't worry. So without this, without knowing this, the, Crus the Northern Crusades and the Teutonic State and what they wanted to do and what they tried to do then and they lost every battle against the Slavic people um, you, you cannot understand Operation Barbarossa against, uh, in 1941 against Russia because Barbarossa was one of them, he was a Teutonic Knight you see? and that was financed by Switzerland with one billion Swiss francs. As I told you before in my other film, uh, Holocaust trains through Switzerland. You understand? It's all related to Octagon. <laughs> it really is. Therefore, during World War II, the Swiss SS Standartenführer Karl Jäger of the Baltic Einsatzgruppen A, A got so much support from the local Baltic population, killing every single Jew in the region. Well, because of their ancestry of the Swiss Teutonic Knights, who also founded Danzig, Königsberg, and the Marienburg Castle, which later became known as Prussia. So here you can see, you know, the uh, uh, the Germans don't have to do anything to just see to it that nobody. Uh, gets away. You're know, just standing there, you know, taking pictures. And the local population, these are Swissies. They're doing it all. Yeah. They're doing it for them. They enjoy it. You know? If you give those people a chance, I just showed you in the church, you know, and all the, all the evil they did in their lives, you know, I, I know it by now, you know. The, the Swiss had children, slaves until 1989, and none of these people did anything. Just like here. You see all the blood? You know, this is all blood. They're lying in the blood. All these, you know, dead children, pregnant women, 
Swiss are doing it. They came from Switzerland. This is Octagon, descendants of the Teutonic Knights, the same ones in the Black Cross Church. So here you see, this is a German Prussian Iron Cross from 1813. Um, and uh, here you see Octagon of the Templars. And here is the Teutonic Black Cross. So this is the uh, symbiosis, in fact, of the Teutonic Knights and the Templars together. You see? And Swissy, you know, they keep their, you know, the homeland, the base, they keep it, you know, neutral. They never did anything where the money is, you know, and then they go and kill people all over the world, you know. First in, like, here, the uh, the Northern Crusades, now, well, first the in the uh, the Middle East, in Jerusalem, and everywhere, the Second World War, and of course also the First World War, you know, it was, that was really a Prussian war, and this is what the Prussians are, Teutonic Knights and Octagon, so, and it was definitely made, the First World War, it had nothing to do with the, uh, the murder of the Archduke in uh, Sarajevo, it had really absolutely nothing to do with that. It was a war made by the uh, aristocracy and the uh, the German Emperor Wilhelm II, who was just before he was in Switzerland at the house at the same uh, Ulrich Wille family of Switzerland. Uh, same thing all over happening in the Second World War. It's always Swissy, Swissy, Swissy behind it all. Octagon, Teutonic Knights, Templars. What shall I say more? And these Prussians are descendants of the Swiss Teutonic Knights. Therefore, Prussians have such a resemblance with the Swiss character. And even the Germans make jokes about those fanatic military Prussians, whom they don't really understand and not even recognize as normal Germans. Prussians were, and still are, in fact, fanatic military Swiss mercs. Here you can see that. Uh, the, uh, this, this is recent, you know, in the German magazine. Preussen, that means Prussia, and they, they call it a, a, a warmongering state. And they understand the Prussians just as much as they understand the Swiss. For Germans, the Prussians, they are, they are like a funny bunch and always making wars, you know. And here you see the, with the Octagon, the German Emperor uh, Frederick the Great, also called uh, Fritz, the, Fritz the Faggot, uh, the Schwule Fritz. Um, Hitler was always carrying, as I showed you before, a portrait of this guy everywhere he went. So, well, you know, into what sort of Teutonic Knights thing Mr. Hitler was with all those black crosses on the airplanes and everywhere. You know, it's, it's, it's still, it's all an octagon here. Templar's cross, it's all the same thing, you know. And this is Emperor Wilhelm. William the second, the guy who was in Switzerland just before the First World War, with the same family, Ulrich, Ulrich Wille, and uh, he started the war. The aristocracy, you know, SS, it says. <laughs> so, it's Swiss. They're just as militarized, and but Switzerland is the base. You know, where the money is and always are neutral and and the other ones do the wars for them but it's all it's it's under the same command poison prussia the uh legacy of the teutonic knights and they came out of the templars and they were in jerusalem and they founded switzerland and it goes on and on and on and now they were then they went to argentina and to the united states with the red line and the uh, the paperclip operations, they're all over. And now we got ISIS, you know, also in black. It's it's the same thing all over. So there it is again, like in the Black Cross Church, Deutsche On, Deutschen Haus. I mean the German Haus, as of the Pharaohs. And um, they founded Switzerland first, as they are a branch of the Templars. And then they found Prussia, founded Prussia. Here it says, the Deutsche Orden, uh, the, the, the Teutonic Knights, they founded Prussia. A little bit later. 
Marienburg. So the Swiss Prussians, the Alpine Swiss and their secret military octagon Nazi Templar orders have pushed the Germans and Europe in numerous times into wars. Therefore their slogan is Helfen, Wern, Heilen to help, to defend, to heal. To help meaning to intervene military-wise somewhere in the world as crusaders so-called helping the Christians in Jerusalem while in fact stealing all the gold. So here you can see a t-shirt like neo-Nazis love to wear. Or the Nazis helping so-called poor, poor German minorities in the, in the East who in fact lived in peace with the Poles and the Czechs or the USA helping against Saddam Hussein in Iraq while shooting everything to pieces with depleted uranium and steal the oil. So this is what Swiss Nazi Templar Teutonic Knights mean with help, which is more a sly Swiss, Swiss euphemism to conceal the true objectives. And I tell you, Nazis really know this. And this is why they put it together with a Nazi plane. And here you see the black Teutonic, the black cross, as in the black Swiss, uh, the cro uh, as as in the Church of the Black Cross in Switzerland. And it says Helfen, Wern, Heilen. And because of the last one here, it says in fact, Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler. Because of the last part of the uh, the slogan of the Teuton Teutonic Knights, you know, otherwise it doesn't make any sense. What, what kind of a sense does it mean, Heil Hitler? You know, otherwise, like being nice to the guy and you know, have a nice health, you know, like Heilen. It also means to cure or to like a disease or you know. Well, they, 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 this is the disease, what they call a disease, what they are like curing, the cure, or the, um, the final solution, you know. It's, it's very evil. And here you can, you can also see the, um, the Mason checkerboard uh, configuration, as you know. And as I told you before in one of my other, and here's the Templars V, you know. And as I told you before in one of my videos, it is in fact a, uh, a a white Swiss cross with the Teutonic black cross in it, as the black cross uh, church in Switzerland. So this is where the Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler, where it comes from, which is H8, uh, HH, and now they have the 88 because of this as a, uh, <laughs> and this is octagon 88. <laughs> Believe me, folks. It's all from Switzerland. Then to defend and the second part of their operation just stands for war, plain war, and the chaos of the Ordo Abkauer. And the third part of the operation to heal is the Ordo part after the chaos, to rebuild, infiltrate on all key positions and consolidate their power through the invisible shadow government of the Mason web and ruled out, out of the Alps, motherland and base of Pharaoh. So, Helden, Wern, Heilen of the Teutonic Knights is clearly what we see the New World Order doing now all over the world. These Teutonic Knights were very similar to the Nazis, both in black like the SS and both into cowardly assassinating defenseless women and children. Which is a real Swiss habit to cowardly attack the defenseless, as I too have to experience here in Octagon of the Alps and see how these Swiss Teutonic cowards terrorize me and my family. But when being confronted with real armies of the Slavs 
And just as in World War II, the Dark Knights lost about every battle, of which the Battle on the Ice is the most well-known, where in 1242, Prince Alexander Nevsky on Lake Pipers beat the hell out of those Swiss Teutonic assassins born out of the Templars. Here you can, this is in Wikipedia, I put it in the descriptions for you. Here was this uh, battle here, and here you can see it, the Teutonic Order, Livonian Order, same Black Cross, all these satanic Swiss orders. And until today, 2015, Alexander Nevsky is still Russia's biggest hero. Then, after having lost about every big battle, Teutonic Swissy went underground in small groups, infiltrating the Russians and, of course, those poor Poles. They smiled through their teeth in the habitual Swissy way and pretended to come work and live, but slowly creeping into all key positions, as in the video Swiss Sleeper Agents in USA.